In this week's parsha, we find an incredible lesson of Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, the greatest leader that the Jewish people ever had. Moses gets, gets up in front of the people and he says, everybody, you should become close to Hashem. Hashem, who is the most powerful in the heavens and the earth. You should listen to his mitzvahs. You should listen to his commandments. He gives them to you for a good reason, to make your life better for you, for your children, for your grandchildren. Follow God. And he gives very strong words of tochacha, of rebuke. And he tells Tells them how important it is once they get into the land of Israel to follow the word of Hashem. And then a very interesting thing happens. Then he uzz, it says suddenly he got up and he said, listen guys, when you get into Israel, there's going to be cities of refuge, special cities that if somebody murders somebody else by accident, there's going to be three cities over here in Israel and three cities in Transjordan, and they have to go to these places and it's like a jail type of place. Like, and he gives all these instructions and everybody asks, what's going on over here? Suddenly now he's talking about this? I mean, he didn't even finish the rebuke, by the way. He started talking about the rebuke. Then he talks about these cities of refuge, the Ir Miklat, and then he goes and he continues. Like, what's it doing over here? And the Ramban says a very interesting thing. He says, Moshe Rabbeinu was practicing what he was preaching. Moshe gets up and says, you got to listen to Hashem. You got to do what Hashem tells you. Well, guess what? God told him that he had to set up these cities of refuge. So right away, when he gives instructions to the Jewish people, right away, he shows them, I'm also listening. I'm doing what I have to do, even though he's not even going to be going into Israel. But you know what? His responsibility was to set this up exactly how it should happen and eventually when they get into Israel they're going to set up these cities. Powerful idea of what a leader is. You can't just sit on your laurels. You can't just sit and go and play golf and instruct everybody else. A great leader is somebody who practices what he preaches and he works hard and he shows the people. That's the importance of being a leader and I'll never forget that one time when I was ninth grade and my rabbi got up in front of the whole class and he said, guys, you got to come to the morning prayers. You got to go to shachas. You got to be on time. He says, if you're Five minutes, I think it was 10 minutes late, you gotta pay a knas, you gotta pay a fine, I think it was a dollar. If you come late, you gotta pay the dollar. And everybody's like trying, and everybody said, well, is the rabbi, what if he comes late, is he gonna pay? And comes the day he came late. And everybody's looking, and they're staring at him as he walks in the room late, and he walked right over to the pushka, he walks right over to the charity box, charity box and he puts five dollars into the charity box, walks to his seat and keeps praying. That was powerful. He was practicing what he preached and he didn't just give a dollar, he gave five dollars to show us how important it is to do this. You know, leaders are great people, leaders are human, but what makes them great is the fact that they do what they say, this humility to understand that I can't just lead, I have to lead by example as well. Have a great Shabbos everybody, see you next week.